Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple Python program to check for even or the odd number. In this program, we will be asking the user to enter a number and then we will check whether that entered number is the even number or the odd number and then we will display the appropriate message. Okay, now how we can say that a number is an even number or the odd number? All you have to do is you have to take the number and then divide that number by 2. If you get the reminder 0, then this number is said to be even number. If the reminder is a non-zero value, uh, which is 1, then this number is said to be odd number. For example, if we have the number 24, then all you have to do is divide this 24 by 2 and this time you guys can see the reminder is 0 and since the reminder is 0 this 24 is the even number similarly if you have 17 then uh, divide this 17 by 2 you get the reminder as 1 so this 17 is the odd number okay now how we can get the reminder value when we divide a number by 2 in python programming we have an operator called as the modulus operator and this operator is denoted by this percentage symbol. If you want the reminder value when you divide a number by another number then you can use this modulus operator. In this tutorial you will learn how to use this operator to get the reminder value. Okay. Now let's see how we can write the simple python program to check for even or the odd number. As I said before here we will be taking the input from the user that is the number to check for even or odd will be entered by the user. So let's ask the user to enter a number and let's store that number in a variable. Here I'm going to create the variable to store the number entered by the user and I'm going to call it as number and here we will be asking the user to enter the number and for that purpose I'm going to use the input and here uh, I can specify a message to display to the user. So I'm going to say enter an integer number. Okay. Now after seeing this message, the user is going to enter a number. But the problem here is this input will uh, read the number as a string value, but we need an integer number. And that's why we need to convert the, the string representation of the number to integer or the number representation so we can do that by using int okay so now we have asked the user to enter an integer number and by seeing this uh, message user will enter an integer number and we are storing that in this number variable now the next thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the reminder value when we divide the value stored in this number variable by 2 so for that purpose we can use the modulus operator so we want to divide the value stored in this number variable by 2 and we want the reminder value that's why we use this modulus operator here so it will be number modulus operator and then 2 so this will divide the value stored in this number variable by 2 and it will return the reminder value now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this reminder value that we obtain from this operation in another variable and I'm going to call that variable as reminder. Okay. So now we have calculated the reminder value. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we will check for the reminder value whether this reminder variable is containing a value of 0 or not. If it is containing a value of 0 then that means that the number entered by the user is the even number. If the reminder variable is containing a non-zero value then it means that the number entered by the user is an odd number. So we can check for that by using the if conditional statement. So it will be if and I'm going to group the um, expression by using the parenthesis here and the condition will be reminder double equal to zero. Here this double equal to is the comparison operator. Here we are checking whether this reminder variable is containing a value of zero. If it is containing a value of zero then we will print the message saying that the number 
entered by the user is an even number okay if the reminder variable is not containing a value of zero then uh, we will have the else part here in this else part we will uh, display that the number entered by the user is an odd number i'm gonna copy and paste this print statement and and i'm gonna change this one to odd number okay so now we have written the program um, the next thing that we do is we will uh, save and run this program so save the program run the module it says enter an integer number i'm gonna enter 26 it says 26 is an even number okay let's run it one more time this time i'm gonna enter 19 it says 19 is an odd number now here you can eliminate the use of this reminder variable you can perform this uh, operation here in this if expression part i want you to try that and uh, post your code in the comment section so this is how you guys can write a simple python program to check for even and odd number now if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to watch more tutorials like this then do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video